But this I is the point. This is what I was getting at. You need to know what it is you want. You need to know where you're going. You need to have an idea and you need to figure out what the best option is. You decide first, then we make a plan with your wife. Um, so you're struggling sure. with the fact that you would like to relieve a lot of pressure in the home financially by selling some land, but your wife's core values to honor uh, her promise to the kids to make sure that they have a place for land, which is, by the way, is going away. So this isn't necessarily bad. You're just struggling with how to move forward with that. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So I can't give you that. That's got to be like your risk tolerance level, right? So I'll tell you something right now, and I bet you Maddie's gonna, he's got his hand up for something too. He'll probably speak to this, but I'll tell you something right now. Like, if you think like an entrepreneur, we go into the red every single day, right? Like we want more, so we do more. So you can make more money if you wanna make more money. It doesn't have to be the easy, I'm gonna sell something. You can also just go make money, right? So you have to decide, is this land that important for the family? As in, do I believe in that? Or is it this just what we need to do to take care of the financial burden that we have? But here's the gray area. If you're just doing it to make it easy, you're probably not doing it right. The easy way might be great, but for just using land as an example, land is a commodity that's going away. So if you have a ton of land, this is a major asset for your family, for your kids, for your future, for your legacy, right? You already have it. So I can't tell you what to do there. I would keep the land. I would. I'd find another way to make more money. But that's because I also think it'd be awesome. Maddie's shaking his head no. But I, that's because I also would want my family to have land on. I've seen what it's like to lose a home, have the government take my spot, right? I know what it's like with my children where their, their mortgages are tough for kids nowadays. I'm thinking ahead, right? So... That's just personally how I feel. That's why I say I can't tell you what to do, right. but I can tell you this 100%. If you're making a decision just to make it easy, that's not a way to make a decision. Oh, um, don't sell the land is what I was saying, Cass. Oh, don't. Do not sell yeah. that. Do not. I'm like, no way. Admin, uh, you can text, text me privately if you want, buddy. This is where I make my money. Uh, do not sell that land. I cannot mm. say it enough to you. Anyway, I'll jump out and talk when it's more my turn, but do not ever sell land. Yeah, plus you're, uh, I, I can't remember which country in, I can't remember which country in, but it's small, right? Uh, no, Norway. Yeah. But we have plenty of land, uh, land in Norway, so it's not uh, a rare commodity. Um, and we, we, uh, we, we've had several discussions about this at home. Uh, selling the land would give us uh, our second bathroom in the house. I have a wife and two daughters and only one bathroom and, and <laughs> yeah. that's a bloody nightmare. I feel your pain there, my last house. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, no, the, the, the scenario as it is, uh, I can work more. Uh, that's what we currently agreed on. So I need to work minimum 400, uh, 200 hours per month. She needs to work more. Uh, but we also have a daughter with anorexia, uh, which uh, kind of uh, inhibits us to, to work that much. And uh, I, I feel that the entire past 10 years has only been work, 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 renovation, renovation, work, renovation. And I feel I've lost, uh, lost an opportunity to actually be a dad. And I, I, re I really don't know if uh, I want to continue for the next five years just working, working, working. Okay, so that, make, that ties uh, into your core values. So not everybody wants to make uh, mad money and do things differently. That would tie into your core values. You know, what, what do I need? What do I really want? Is it enough money? Is it this is enough money? I want to be around more for my kids. When can I sleep? When can I not sleep and learn more skills to make more money in a different way? There's so many different things that you can look at here. But here's the thing. Your biggest challenge is because you and your wife are disagreeing on it. You're going to have to dig into who you are and what you believe. Otherwise, you're just doing it to please her. You're losing and sacrificing with your kids. And you're not making enough money anyways. But again, I'm going to tie it back to if you're just trying to take the easy way out, that's not the way. Right? Does it, it won't solve the problems. Yes, you could pay for your bathroom and yes, you could be out of debt. 
listen, you're going to, we make what we, we make and then we spend what we spend. Until you start to figure out all the other facets of your area from budget to goals to time that you want to spend to how much money you need to need, need to, to have for your future, you're going to be in the yeah. same situation anyway. How many, I bet you if we raised our hands or how many of you guys have sold a car, a house or something like that and you just got back in the same fucking problem again? I did a lot. Yeah, no, I, like, I, I, I fully agree with that. Well, we, we made a, um, a decision against all uh, advice from economical sane persons uh, to, to renovate our uh, main bathroom uh, about one year ago. Uh, and to get that done, uh, we got an absolutely maximum mortgage, so it's uh, exceeding the uh, the uh, actual limit the bank wants to to rent out. And since then, the mortgage interest has just gone skyrocketing. Well, this is a worldwide problem now, guys. I mean, we're projected to have eight yeah. percent here by the end of the year. Like, so, and that's North America. So, like, I mean, this is going to be an issue. And people don't plan like yeah, that. People don't understand what 1% will change, right? So, I mean, I'm not saying that you can't do it. Maybe it is the answer, but I think you need to be digging way deeper and it's not a rapid decision. And it's not one that you make with her first. First, you make it for yourself, right? You've got the answers. Then you have a hard conversation and you make it together, right? Yeah, yeah, no, uh, we, we've discussed this uh, since uh, the summer. Well, uh... I've said I'm open to to uh, to um, other suggestions. We've discussed if uh, we want to, if there are other opportunities to make uh, money off the land. Maybe set up some farming land or uh, or um, rent out plots for people to come and, and farm things. But we haven't come across a solution that can actually uh, make money without of having to invest money. Uh, well, that's almost always how it goes. That's almost always how it goes, right? You have to figure it out yeah. by learning and making money in a different way, right? So I would spend some time figuring out a little bit more about what would look good making money, right? If money's a problem, I don't believe in this. I, I know we, we talked about it on our call, you know, the economy, we don't get paid as much and blah, 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 blah. Listen, it's the fucking world wide web. You can make as much money as you fucking want anywhere in the fucking world. Right, so figure out what you'd like to do. What does money look like with you? What can we start to build so that we can actually get, like money shouldn't be a problem for anybody, anybody. It's literally, you can learn anything you want on YouTube and you can put together a course and you're, you're an expert in something and you can start doing some social media. There's like, obviously it's not like overnight, but can you hang on for one year while you start to build something? Can you hang on? while you're growing and you're supplementing a little bit extra, sure, you might sleep a little less. Sure, you might not get to watch Netflix, right? But this is what you do. It's the world wide web, right? Literally anywhere in the world. So think outside the box. Don't think like I'm stuck with my land. Think where are all the people online? Uh, I'm not saying there's not uh, no, there's uh, no opportunities, but uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's just something I'm struggling to wrap my head around. Uh, I'm more of a, a traditional type of uh, thinking and, and ways of uh, working and making money. Well, that's that's pretty common, right? We know what we know, right? Whatever that is, yeah. you know. So the time to learn is now. The time to to move is now. Otherwise, you just look back and you go, fuck, there goes another six months. You, you guys have all been there where you're like, if I would just would have started doing sit-ups and eating right and I'd have a six-pack. Well, it's the same thing. You just have to get started. The first part of the journey is getting started, Agnar. Okay? So start with a list. Go down a rabbit hole on YouTube. Build that list of what would be interesting to you. What am I good at? What can I take from what I like and what I'm good at? What can I teach? It doesn't have to be teaching, but maybe it's something that you're selling, like something you're good at that you can, you can um, give that makes people's lives easier. I don't know, whatever it is. And then we do the next step, the next step. But that's why I say, don't make a decision based off what's easier because more than likely, you're just gonna end up in the same sort of situation.